Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft from the single player server. It is just becoming morning on the horizon, and it is going to be a beautiful day. I can already feel it. No rain, no nothing. We need to move this over to our new base, because uh, this one is quickly becoming obsolete. Um, but we're back at the old one. Uh, we're gonna start moving again, but first, first, this one named, we are going to do an enchantment. Uh, we still need some fortune, so let us do a diamond pick and a diamond sword, and let's see which one we like better here. Band of Hoss Part 3, okay, definitely the pick. Efficiency 4, I like it. And of course I forgot Lapis. Okay, let's go down and let's see if we can get Lapis really quick. Actually, no. I have a better idea. We're going to save the enchant for the end of the episode. And I, with the Silk Touch pick, am going to bring our, uh, our enchantment table over to the new base. That is exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to take that. And I'm going to take that. Take that and that. Um this. Um, so today we're going to uh, finish up the rest of the Ten Commandments and how they relate to uh, our lives and um, how God feels so strongly about them uh, even though we are not in, um, we are not under Moses' law anymore. Uh, the book of Romans tells that tells uh, us that very distinctly uh, and very apparent. Uh, there we go. And let's grab aha, the furnaces. Yes. Let's grab that. Let's grab you. Uh, let's keep the bed here. Uh, there's a lot of saddles still. I'll keep all these here for right now. Uh, anything fun in here. Ah, we can cook up these. And we have four more inventory. Hmm. Hmm. Nothing good there. Let's do... Let's get these guys back home. And let's get the wheat. Other than that, should be all set. Let's get these back too. There we go. Alrighty, we're full. Let's go back. Uh, so yesterday, I think it was yesterday. I'm so weary. I have no idea. These days are meshing together, guys. Um, yesterday we talked about the first four: uh, polytheism, uh, idolatry, uh, graven images, also, or the first. Uh, commandment having no other god before me. Uh, the third one is the uh, swearing, no filthiness, uh, Ephesians 5.3. And the fourth one is, um, is the Sabbath and how uh, in uh, Colossians 2.16 nullifies the Sabbath as well as Jesus did uh, through his actions. Um, there we go. Like, <laughs> oh, hello. Bye bye. These things should expire pretty soon. Ah, oh. hello. I don't think I can grab that. Yeah, nope. Uh, so the next one is obedience to parents, honoring your father and mother. Um, and this one's a biggie. <laughs> um, I always liked how. Ray Comfort uses this uh, in his evangelism uh, when he's talking about uh, blaspheming the name of the Lord. Um, I can't get that. There we go. Um, not taking the Lord's name in vain. Oh, a little lag spike. Um, he basically refers to, you know, uh, cursing God uh, is a huge sin in our lives. But we wouldn't do that to our parents. There we go. 
uh, we wouldn't do that to our parents, right? <laughs> like, we would not say, oh my, uh, dad or mom <laughs> at all, right? Oh, that was a mistake. Um, so I thought that was a great example of how not to use it. Um, and I really like that example uh, that he uses. Wow, it is so raggy. I'm just putting away blocks. Oh, well, that's okay. We're going to have a nice enchantment room. Oh, wait, that's not it. <laughs> Disregard this minor interruption on in our discussion. Um, <laughs> there we go. Will that get a 30? It will. Awesome. Let's do that. One, two, three. three. And boom. Hey, hey, hey. I like that pick. We'll combine it with this to get, just kidding, we'll combine it with another pick we have. There we go. We'll combine it with this one when that gets super low. And then we'll combine it and voila, we have a new Efficiency 5 Breaking 3 pick. Um, so touch. Yeah, it'll be good. So that's exactly what we'll do. And then what's next for our sword here? Knockback one. Oh my goodness. I hope that'd be good. Uh, the rest of the engine would be good. Keep that there. All right. Um, so obedience to parents, very important. And um, Ephesians 6, 1 uh, backs it up. Um, you know, you shall honor your father and mother. Um, <laughs> So that is a beautiful thing, isn't it? Um, it always should be. Uh, in everything we do. That means not going behind there uh, when they're not looking. <laughs> um, and talking bad to, about them to, their, to your friends or uh, anything like that at all would be considered um, not good in the sight of the Lord. Um, at all. Do that. There we go. Boink, boink. There we go. Grab that. We're gonna have fish for days, I tell you what. Fish for days. Got any more here? Okay. Look at that. <laughs> we have 10 stacks already. That's actually kind of crazy. Um. There we go. There we go. We eat that before we eat the steak. No, no, no. Okay, the sixth one is murder. And Jesus said in Matthew 5, I believe, uh, 5 or 6, uh, even if you hate someone, you're committing murder in your heart. Uh, so Jesus uh, exemplified this one, uh, expanded this to be even, uh, <laughs> even more... We are even more guilty of murder than we think we are to begin with. And uh, that one hits him like, wow, if you hate someone, you're committing murder. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> um, but it's, it's true. If, like, if you hate someone, um, you know, you know murder is wrong. But if you hate someone and you know you would do it, if no one was watching or if you wouldn't get in trouble, then you have a big problem there. Um, let's look back in here. Yeah, let's make this right here. There we go. Uh, so yeah, big problems, right? Um, maybe this could be a storage area. I don't know. Let's keep. Yeah, I like that. 
there we go. That'll be our corridor. Um, adultery. Uh, Jesus exemplified this as well. Uh, with not, uh, if you even look at a woman with lust or a man with lust. Uh, um, if you're a girl, you know. Yes, vice versa. Uh, you commit adultery in your heart. And that's a huge one as well. Because uh, our sin nature is very prone to doing that. Very, very prone to doing that. This so might have, might be, uh, it is definitely m one of man's, uh, men's hardest battle to, uh, ooh, uh, to overcome. But it also can be women's as well. Um, this actually will have to be mostly can be easily women's as well. Um, a hard battle to overcome. There we go. Uh, so that's why in uh, Ephesians 4 it says to flee from sexual sin and all that and sexual temptation and let there be no uh, for anyone who is ooh I've messed up. Anyone who is uh sexually immoral, impure, or who is covetous, shall not inherit, uh, shall not inherit the kingdom of God. No, yeah, that's verse 6 of Ephesians 5. Um, I, I try to memorize these. Um, well, but yeah, so it's, it's a constant battle, and wow, we only got to, okay, theft, false witness, and coveting, uh, will be tomorrow, but I'm glad we got a lot of stuff done today, and I will see you all in the next one. Hope you all enjoyed. God bless.